So we're gonna talk about the pressure bag. Pressure bags can be found in the main Pixis or in both code rooms. Um, it's by the ortho equipment in the drawer to the bottom left. So the important thing with pressure bags is to make sure that you continuously um, inflate it. You're gonna go ahead, spike your bag and prime your tubing. You're gonna slide your bag, your normal saline bag or whatever you're bolusing with, through your pressure bag. It's easier if you reach your hand down in here and kind of shimmy it up a little bit. So once you do that, another important step is that you make sure that this little tab, that you loop it through. Um, if you don't do that and you loop this part to that, you're gonna, um, your pressure bag will hang a little bit lower than your normal saline bag. You're gonna go ahead and hang this up. Obviously at this point you can hook it up to the patient and unclamp it if you want. Um, you're gonna go ahead and make sure that that is off to the side because then the air would get out. And you're gonna go ahead and squeeze your pressure bag until it inflates. It's gonna take a little bit just because this bag for demonstration purposes is half empty. So you're gonna inflate this until you get to the green area. I all go always to the top of the green area where you almost see a little bit red just because the more that you keep it inflated, the less that you're gonna have to continuously do it. So you see it's getting to the green. I go until there's just a little line of red. So now we can see that there's red there. I'm gonna then go ahead and turn my stopcock off so that the air stays in the bag. Then I would open up my line and start infusing. So if you watch for a second, as the bag of fluid loses the volume, your bag is gonna obviously need more pressure. So you'll see this going down. You always want that to be in the green, um, so that's why you continuously need to be rechecking that. If you don't do that, then it's gonna obviously just drip by gravity. So you need to make sure that you are continuously reinflating the bag. And ideally, this, if you're giving a liter, it should go in within like 15 minutes if you are continuously doing that.